James's body. I need a little hair for comparison with the sample that Herman was clasping in his hand. All right. I need to use something to cut off a little hair. I don't want to touch him with my hands. Okay, fair enough. Don't have a knife anymore. A broken but glass. Got that. Let's see, is there anything else in here to click on before? No? Alright. Okay, this should do. Where could I have a close look at it? Hmm. Well, maybe just. I'll go back to the morgue and use Herman's microscope. It looks like they've already got the body. So let's go over here. It's set up properly now. I can use it. All right. It's set up. Oh, gotta put the hair in. The samples differ. Even I can see that. It wasn't James who killed Herman. But huh. who was it then? Who's got a black? Morris. Morris. Alright, let's go check on Morris then. I probably would have been quicker to just go from the inside, but oh well. Wow, it is really pouring out here. Stable. Dang it. All right. So we only have one clue that we finally found for these murders. So we need to find out who's been doing them. So we need to check all the witnesses we can. Morris isn't here. Where could he have gone? Hmm. A letter. Strange things have been happening around here. It all began a few days after the funeral of old Mr. Gordon, when his Mr. heir Samuel Gordon. returned to when the his manor. his heir Samuel returned to the manor. I haven't got a clue as to what's going on, but when somebody finds this note, I'll be far away already. It seems to me that that detective wants to frame me for Henry's murder, so I won't be hanging around. I'm going to go while there's still time. Feel free to keep my last month's wage. And don't bother looking for me. I won't be returning. Morris. Morris has run away. I knew he couldn't be trusted. What if it was he who committed the murders? That's a good question. What can we do to uh, get some evidence? We turn on this light here. Oh, and who's going to take care of the horsies? Here we have his cap. Morris's cap. If we take a closer I look. I found a little hair. I should examine it closely. Maybe this sample will match the one Herman was clasping in his hand. Well, let's hope so. So, back to the morgue. And we'll see if we can't uh, nail Morris for this.
No, Morris isn't the murderer I'm looking for either. But if it isn't him, then who? Well, shoot. What is going on? Who else could have done it? Oh, anyway, I actually want to just go back to the manor. We haven't uh, told anybody about Robert's death yet. They don't know back there, so uh, I think it's time to uh, let them know. I believe Bates is going to be in his usual place. Bates? Yes, sir? Bates, I have just returned from Ashbury. I spoke with the head nurse, and... Any news of Sir Robert? Well, unfortunately... From your tone, I anticipate bad news? It's... It's worse, Bates. Much worse. Robert is dead. What? Sir Robert? That's inconceivable! Oh my, I sensed something terrible would happen. All this time since Sir Robert disappeared, this is going to be a tremendous shock for Madam. Maybe it would be preferable not to let her know. At least for the time being. But how could we possibly not tell her about this? Uh. Bates, we cannot tell her now. Try to understand. We need to give this some time. But Madam will continue to look for Sir Robert. She will find out the truth by herself soon anyway. And things will be worse for her. Believe me, Bates. The later she learns about Robert's death, the better. Oh, you are probably right, sir. We have to give Madam more time. The news would destroy her right now. Would you excuse me now, sir? I need to organize my thoughts. I think I will go now. I'll return to my work. Well... Either way, we need to find more clues. We did get those, uh, you get, uh, Robert's keys. So maybe we can find something in his study that we haven't found before. It's the only place in the manor we haven't been, for the most part. I know, I think there's that one weird locked room back here, but let's not worry about that. That's nothing to uh, be concerned about. But study. I feel as though he were watching me even now. Hmm. So what was he up to in here? Robert's diploma in medicine. So you don't want to look at that yet. Let's take a look over here. Another key. Who's the man in the picture? I've never seen his face before. I have question. to find his place in the past and obtain his key. Yeah, we need that fourth key there. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Anatomy. Some medicine. I'd better leave it alone. There's a solution of a distinct color in some of the tubes. Maybe this is what Robert was working on all the time. The liquid in the tube smells very bad. Hmm, maybe it wasn't supposed to sit there that long. A little key was hidden there. Okay, what can we use that for? I have a guess. It can't be opened. Well, guess it can. It looks like a security code. Hmm. There's nothing else there. Just papers and a book. Alright, let's take a look at that paper we found. A code of some sort. Strange, there's no writing on it. Hmm. D32128015258842. Hmm. 
Okay. It's kind of a long code there. What's that used for? And how about... It oh, can't be open. Unlock it too. Sophie, Robert's wife. She left him many years ago. That's depressing. Hmm. Well, there's nothing else in there. Let's take a look. We can click on these lights for some reason. It sheds a strange greenish light. Hmm. Well, there's a reason for that. We use the paper on the light. Six, three, zero, eight, one. Aha. All right. Now, what's that a code to? That's the question. Let's look around some more. Assorted medical literature. Medical volumes. There's no point in skimming through these. Most of them are in Latin. Okay, how about this one? That is a year prior to building the foundation of the castle. Hmm. MCXX, which is 1120. That is a year Okay. Exactly 12? It probably doesn't work. Oh, I was going to say like 12 a.m., 12 p.m. Hmm. Well, you can change the time here. And remember the year of the foundation uh, above the middle bookcase the number is uh, 1120 or 1120. So if we put the thing down here. Does that do anything for us? Okay. Oh, maybe I didn't have it just right. One second. Right on... Oh, that's... Let's try that again. There we go. A secret bookcase. Robot had more secrets than anyone would have suspected. Alright, let's take a look. safe with a number we need to put in. So I feel we know which number to put in there. Hmm. Oh, okay. Six. This is a really overly complicated way to do a save, but okay. Zero. This is the right combination. Oh, I guess eight one was already put in. <laughs> that, well, that made things easier. Okay, that's fine. So what do we have? More tubes with that smelly solution. Robert's diary. May 2nd. Tomorrow, I will visit Dr. Herman in the morgue. If he understands what I wrote to him in my letters, it shouldn't be too hard to convince him. I think he's my man. May 3. The visit to Herman fulfilled my expectations. Our secret agreement will make further progress in my research much easier. It did not take much effort to convince him to cooperate. Just as I expected. Herman understands that science and research of novel concepts sometimes demands sacrifices. 
He agreed to take care of the first delivery tomorrow already, which suits my plans perfectly. If it were not for him, I do not know how it would be possible for me to keep on disposing of those damn bodies. A few corpses disappear without a trace certainly will not be a problem for him as a pathologist. Last, I can resume work on the tests. May 8th. Previous tests were no use, and several months of work turned out completely futile. God's sake, where could I have made a mistake? Where? Calculated all the components almost a thousand times, and just haven't a clue as to what could be wrong. It's starting to make me tired. It's taking much too long, and with every new day I'm afraid that someone will find out. It is with great luck that I convinced Herman to cooperate at the right moment. Either I improve the composition of the substance, or raise doses as they are. Otherwise, I cannot proceed further. Yes! That's it! The composition is correct. I merely require to raise the dosage. Yes! Could have started sooner with them. Oh, I will raise the concentration by a hundred percent. May 9. Administered the higher concentrate to two subjects. I have to wait several days before I can make accurate measurements. At least I can now take a rest from all the figures and calculations. May 12. I thought I would not have to take any notes for the next few days, but I had a word with James today. He was acting differently than usual, and spoke about things that must never come to light. He knows too much about the methods of my research and can expose me. And worse, they would believe him. Do not know what to do now. Locked in that cell of his, he's trying to corner me. How ironic. Never before have I considered direct violence. But he is a threat to all my efforts and everything that I have achieved. May 13. Things are apparently worse than I thought. The head nurse spoke to James, and she herself suggested to me that we should release him for some time. It was quite an effort to convince her that James must stay where he is because of his condition. I have no clue what he told her to make her believe him, but I am afraid he may tell her everything next time. Must not happen. He is not the fool I thought he was. I have to get rid of him somehow. May 15. Everything I once held firm in my hands is beginning to crumble and fall like a house of cards. Higher doses have had no effect. I verified all the measurements twice. Do not know how to continue. The whole affair with James refuses resolution. He must never be allowed to return to Black Mirror. Do what has to be done. There is only one possibility left. Only one solution. I will dispense with the calculations and raise the ratio of the effective substance by another hundred percent. I know whose veins I will inject the serum into this time. But he didn't get the chance. Herman helped Robert hide the results of his experiments. The bodies of the patients would end up in his morgue and no one was to find out. So that explains why we were finding corpses in the dumpster. And that probably explains why he just had a brain sit now, because there were some experiments going on there. But I still have no idea what Robert was trying to accomplish. Like, none. Maybe he was trying to... use the serum to make insane people sane? Thinking that there was some, like, something in the brain that it would affect? But I just, I don't know. Let's take another look around here. I have no clue what's in them. A chemical of some sort, that's for sure. There are dates on the labels, month after month. Hmm. I, William Gordon, have decided to bequeath my possessions as follows. To my dear Victoria, I give and will all my personal possessions, the family jewels and valuables, as they righteously belong to her to her heirs and assigns forever. To my grandson, Samuel Gordon, I hereby transfer the ownership of the Black Mirror Castle with all the neighboring lands. To him, I also devise the administration of our family residence. Let him take care of it properly, as I no longer can. 
to his heir and assigns forever, to my beloved son James. I give the full right to live in his native residence for however long he should desire until the end of his days. By this I hope to at least partially atone for your having to live in complete loneliness, my dear James. And lastly, to my firstborn son Robert. After long pondering, I have decided to deny the right to the property of our family. However, I do retain his right to his property and things that he has been making use of in our family residence. I know that you are well aware of the reason of my decision, Robert. In my eyes, you are no longer worthy of the name Gordon. These decisions I make of my own free will, and in the best of conscience, William Gordon. William's last will was apparently meant to stay hidden from everyone. Robert, I see now I didn't know you at all, you bloody beast. What a jerk. There's something interesting. I noticed that. He was talking about leaving everything to Samuel. It says, let him take care of his property as he no longer can to his heir and his sons. His heir. This was done in 1980, long after that fire. Hmm. Samuel's heir? Well, that, uh, won't be coming up again, so let's not worry about that. At least not for this time. It's a 3.5 millimeter. It must be very old. Hmm. Dear Samuel, it was not easy for me to find fitting words for these first lines that I hope you are reading. As well as it was not easy to find out where you were living. I hope that my letter will reach your hands as soon as possible, as there is not much time left. Since your departure, I have contributed all my efforts and endless hours of sleepless nights looking for the truth about our family. I feel that I am already very close to beholding its full face, and I am concerned that I might not have the strength to look at it alone. Therefore I am turning to you, Samuel, for I know that you will hear out my plea. In this envelope you will find the ancient ring of our heritage. It is very important that you always have it with you. Take extraordinary care. I will explain everything when you arrive. Please return to our manor and help me. I know my time is closing in. I can feel it. I am afraid. Hmm, but he never will delivered that letter. something? But now there's no way to find out what. Maybe I could have helped him if I had received the letter on time. I hope you're frying in hell. Can you hear me, Robert? It's a bit harsh, but... Maybe deserved. And I think that is about it for the safe. And let's take a look at that ring. Old runes and Latin words are carved around the area. Hmm. Anything else in here? Robert has left this one opened. He won't be able to finish it now. Obviously. Study of the human brain. Hmm. And sadly, there's nothing actually interesting at the desk. We've done all we can here. What we need to do is find that key. We need to find out who that is. So uh, maybe Victoria can help us. May I speak with you for a while, Victoria? Of course, Samuel. Victoria, I was in Robert's study, and I saw a picture of a man that I had never seen before. Is it someone from our family? A picture? You shouldn't have entered that room, Samuel. Robert does not like anyone to go in there, not even me. I merely tried to find something that would help us figure out where Robert could be. His things are all in order. Oh, good. 
He would be angry if he found out that you had been in his study. That picture is a portrait of our ancestor, Lothar Gordon. It was he who founded the sanatorium where Robert works. And when was that? Some two hundred years ago. I'm not exactly certain. Ashbury has been a hospital of some kind for quite some time. Hmm. Tell me more about Lothar Gordon. He was chief doctor in a hospital for the mentally disordered for many years. In those days, however, they did not speak about therapy or medication. He would probably have carried on with his work if he had not fallen ill. What was his ailment? Over time, that place completely absorbed him. All those mad minds that he was spending days and nights with. In the end, he broke down, and his mind succumbed to insanity too. He died as one of those he was helping. A truly sad end. Yikes. When Lothar died, where did they bury him? I see you are testing my memory. As far as I know, his body remained there as he wished. They buried him in a modest grave behind the sanatorium. Later, that place turned into a graveyard. Many who died within the walls of the sanatorium found their rest there. What was in the Ashbury building before it became a sanatorium? I have no idea. I was never interested in that place. Why are you asking about such a thing, Samuel? I just wanted to know. It's not important. I think on one occasion, Robert mentioned there used to be a hospital for cholera patients there. That building has a terrible past indeed. Would you please excuse me now, Samuel? All right, well, we must again return to Ashbury. Because we need to see if we can't find that body, because that body will most likely have that key. <laughs>